We got some great Heroes of New Earth to be coming at you. Of course, I'm talking about Han Tour Season 2. What is cycle number five here? And we got Team Excellent matching up against Too Much Sugar. This is a loser's bracket round of four matchup. Uh, here we are. These two teams, obviously, they're playing for a chance to move on and face off, of course, Stay Green in the following round. And that, of course, we'll be even covering next year on OnCast. So it, it's, it's, we already covered a little bit today with the Dream Act Qualifiers, kicking that off. Had some fun with that. But now we got some serious matches at our hand, and I'm really excited for that, as I'm sure you guys are at home as well. With that said, I'm Breaky CPK, and for this cast, I'm actually going to be joined, speaking of Stay Green, going to be joined by Swindomels here. Captain of Stay Green, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good, Breaky. How about you? I'm doing good, as always. Uh, you know, I've had a little bit of time off. I had the week off or so, so it's fun <sighs> coming back, though, and getting caught up in everything, seeing that you guys actually advanced on in, uh, in this cycle, speaking of that. Uh, so you guys, you guys are waiting comfortably in, in the following round, so a yeah. little, little bit of extra insight here. Yeah, we uh, play the winner of this game, so I figured why not cast? It's a pretty <laughs> easy and much more enjoyable way to watch replays of teams. So. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. With, with that said, again, these two teams going out of here. Uh, now, the first thing to note right off the bat is I know I know Excellent's kind of been doing this in the cycle. I don't know if it's them actually trying something or if it's just more so it just happens to be, you know, filling in. But Pee Wee is, of course, playing for them here. Um, and currently in place on Prodex 5 level. Um, but again, I don't know much other than that, just simply that I think he's just subbing in. Uh, so I don't really want to look too much into it, but uh, he is playing yeah, for them here. I, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I thought TMSR was going to have to use a ringer because they were asking me about rescheduling because they said oh, they were going to really? reschedule this match, but apparently it got worked out, so we're <laughs> in the game. But um, yeah, I don't really know what's up with Pee Wee. Uh, he's replacing. Uh, who? Brodex. Brodex. Yeah, I don't know why I don't know that, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I always thought Brodex was, uh, I thought he was the one, nah, maybe not their best player, but he was like best or second best, so yeah. I'd be surprised if they cut him, but who knows? It is it is Heroes of New Earth. <laughs> who knows what's going to happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, again, it goes back to, I, I also seen him in place in Knox as well, so I don't know if they're actually trying something out or if it just simply just happens to be coincidence that he's just ringing for them for now, but... Uh, anyways, we'll keep an eye on that, though, and see how that progresses on. With that said, speaking of progress here, we're moving along with picks and bands. Um, in fact, there we go. The first set of picks even finishing. The bands real quickly, they were Keeper, Scout, War Beast, and Prisoner 945. Uh, still up there. So what, what are your thoughts about the picks so far here, Swindle? Uh, pretty, pretty standard. Not standard, I'd say, but both of these teams are well known for running the no jungle strategy, even before it became much more popular in the meta. Yeah. So I'm not surprised to see both teams kind of passing up on them. Um, interestingly enough, like they don't even ban them. Like Parasite, Ophelia, Tempest are just in the <laughs> pool. No big deal. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, the Dampier got a slight nerf earlier, but I still consider that hero just one of the just he, it's not that he's op i think he's definitely too strong it's just that he he's so hard to deal with because he free farms and uh, like a game we lost against ig last weekend he had 140 creep kills around the 12 minute mark yeah. like what what do you do breaky it, it's ridiculous yeah as far as just the flash farming ability that he has right off the bat as soon as he gets that blood chalice especially goes to the stacks and just starts taking them out with good support uh yeah and you know speaking of that th this patch yeah i was talking about that earlier on the cast uh it was it was a big patch. Not only do we have Samuel Jackson, not only were we introduced with the great game Plinko, but uh, it was a huge balance patch on top of that. And so that was one of the changes you were just talking about. Dampier right there actually got it up on screen. Definitely took some hits, uh, as did many heroes. Some of us got buffs, of course. So overall, I mean, it, were you a fan of this balance patch? You think it had some good changes in it? Uh, there were a couple I disagreed with, but I was I was pretty much on board with all of them. We went over them in uh, the balance discussion before yeah. they went live, so we kind of knew it was happening. Um, I really like the different kind of direction, and I think that just, like, I swear, if we just, if you take this garbage hero and just give it a little move speed, some base armor, and, like, lower the mana cost on its main ability, yeah. like, you can just change so many things about the viability of the hero, and I think that's what we've done. So <laughs> it's pretty cool, and I think it's already been evidenced that teams are trying lots of new stuff now. Yeah. And that, that, that's the ultimate thing. It's just a matter of, e even if it is somewhat minor, it's just that idea. It's like, oh, that's right. That hero's still there. And, hey, let's, let's give it a shot and see what, what, we, what we can make happen. So uh, moving along here, the band's finishing up. We got Wild Soul, Empath, Parasite, Lodestone, Wretched Hag, and Bubbles. And now into the second set of picks, Aluna into Rally. 
from too much sugar. And now one more for either side, of course. So uh, Team Excellent, they've already got their carrier choice. You mentioned, I mean, still pretty much all the junglers now. Parasite was eventually taken off, but you still have Tempest and Ophelia even on the board. Leaning towards probably not going to see it here in this game with the way things are shaping up, of course. Um, we'll see what Excellent finishes with here. You think, uh, well, I guess a suicide option wouldn't be out of the question for them. As far as their final pick. Yeah, um, they they have a pretty open lineup. I, I think it's got to be the suicide, though. They could run an aggressive tri lane, but that's just not Excellent's cup of tea. I expect them to run the NG Pebbles mid, the Aluna Pred bottom, and... There's a lot of pretty core suicide heroes left in the pool, but I haven't really seen X set with much success with many of them. Plague it's gonna be, you know, it, I'm so angry because I was just about to say <laughs> they're gonna pick Plague. Like it was in my head, and then they pick it, so I don't get the extra style points for calling a pretty weird pick. But Plague is a fairly strong choice here because Dampier is very predictable. You know he's going short lane, and when Plague was, you know, really prominent in the scene. It was because he could go long lane and just slow down the carry just because he's standing there denying away a, a creep every wave. Yeah. Plus, Dampier doesn't really have that much kill potential until the later levels. So it's you can't really dive a hero with 315 move speed when you've only got 305 until you've got enough burst to you know actually take him down when you engage on him. So I, I think that's a pretty strong pick here, and I'm interested to see what TMSR does to counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely play guard one of those heroes. Uh, he's very niche, very situational, but you know for that laning phase you. Can really take advan advantage of that deny and it kind of sounds like that's what we're with here as far as that movement speed so uh yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out for team excellent but uh although as, as you put it kind of maybe not the go-to suicide option here it definitely can make sense uh tmsr now back to them uh as far as what they're thinking here you know probably somebody to shape up with uh kind of like that two two one setup um eight seconds okay oh, oh okay i feel it they actually do go the jungle in the end so they're thinking about that clearly but yeah. I like that pick, to yeah. be honest. You you can't really... A Plague Rider, I think the best way to beat a Plague is to send a solo against it, and I think that might be what they do. They could dual lane it as well, but the Ophelia also gives the option to dive onto the Plague. Plus, you're not really going to send a Plague short lane, so they're pretty sure that they can guess X sets lanes, and I believe they've done so correctly, yeah. which means the Ophelia should have a fairly easy time, Let's and that on. should be enough to win them the top lane, assuming they have one hero there, and if not, then uh, I'd like to see them go to mid and then win both top and mid, but we'll see what they choose to do here. Yeah. I definitely think they can take uh, the NG nerfs are actually a lot bigger than they seem to be, and Pebbles also was just nerfed, so I think an MOA <laughs> Tort could easily take out that lane, especially yeah. with the jungler support. Yeah, that's so true. Again, with, with me, uh, like I said, I was on vacation this last week, so when this patch actually hit, uh, I started trying my best to kind of catch up, but it's gonna, definitely going to take a little bit of time to kind of go over all the changes, but yeah, as you just mentioned, I mean, multiple heroes in this game definitely taking some hits. Uh, the Engineer one, you know, I do remember that being talked about. It looks like the keg and the steam tier both took a little bit of hits there. Um, so maybe you say even a little bit bigger than people realize. But at the same time, as I, always, I go back to Engineer Bean, as long as he has his ultimate and as long as it stays pretty much as it is, he's still going to be a go-to support option. I think you can argue. So uh, obviously picked up here as far as the support goes for Team Excellent. Um, so again, we'll see how that landing situation plays out, though, as you're getting at. Is, was that a hatchet flying through the air in the pause? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Got the hatchet mid animation with Dampier, but um, we do see all five of of Too Much Sugar right here. They're matched up against uh, against the five of Excellent. They they are sending it to the top, so we could have a possible clash here uh, to kick things off. Of course, they want to protect that jungle for Ophelia, but Aluna and Engineer both with their wards ready to go. Um, I mean, what so what are your thoughts though on with that? So with my comment on Engineer, do you do you still think? I mean, as long as he has his ultimate, he's still good to go, or could this actually could these changes start seeing him maybe slowly dying off? Uh, he's definitely not going to die off as long as his ultimate stays the same. It's just way too big of a game changer. Yeah. The thing that might change with time is really just the way teams lane. And I, or, I don't know, because Engineer, he's always been... He's good support, but he's really only strong middle. He's not good at zoning out from the short lane, and he's not the greatest roamer because he kind of needs – he really requires a lead stun it's to be effective. So he, He's weaker for sure, but the, the ultimate's still one of those – it's like a Tempest ult. You know, it can just yeah. win or – it can win you a game. So as long as that's the case, it's definitely still going to be a hero choice. And this is going to be interesting because we got –
both teams with five, and uh -oh. I think it's about even. It's it's pretty cool. Rally gets a big compel off to start. Hits three heroes. You see the chain reaction is actually missing right though. No, they did hit on to Pebbles right there. Pebbles trying to stay alive. One more out of attack. Not going to happen. Then the kicks up. Master Bots gets it off, but Fine got the bloodlust just before that. He got enough distance right there. Moomian is still holding his ground. He's going to throw a chain reactions. That might cost him the one more out of attack. Contagion Duke actually does that job in. So a two for one exchange in favor of Excellent. And it looks like it is going to die out after that. But wow, what a clash. Oh, oh, and the courier. That actually kind of makes the exchange even now. A hero's yeah. got to run back to base to buy that courier. Plague also forced to go Q level one, which means he True. will not be able to maintain the lane control. So they are putting two top, which I'm not. I, I think it were. Oh, no, they are. Uh, yeah, they are putting two top. So he should be able to get pretty much zero XP unless Tort doesn't go there. But that was a good fight. That really comes down to huge stun by Keizu. But, like, Tort just wasn't ready to follow up or something. And then they, they stun. But when you're doing it, when you're making an aggressive play like that, you really need to continue auto attacking as you do that. And instead, like Rally landed a stun, Tort landed a stun, but they weren't they weren't aggressively moving forwards in a line. They they kind of like hung back. Pebbles was able to get out of range, so uh, it, it turns into two for one. But I, I really think Hellborn with a little better play definitely had the better positioning in that fight. Just just some misplays, but they, they get the courier, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, the Courier Gun, as you mentioned, uh, that is big. I mean, the Contagion here being leveled up by Plague Rider. So it, it did guarantee the kill on a Torch, so, you know, definitely worth it in that sense. But uh, that lane positioning going to be nullified, perhaps, as a result of that, as you're mentioning. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that progresses on. Clearly here, a few on uh, Luna. Looks like he's just uh, getting some issues figured out as uh, he disconnects after the pause. So as soon as he re returns, I'm sure, sure we'll be good to go. Um, now, I will say the Hellborn team, you know, even on top of that, they, they did get a two camps uh, – Blocked, it looks like. You see this camp around the left side to the lane, and, of course, the pole camp are going to be blocked to start. So a little bit difficult, more of a difficult start for Tank of Fed, but I'm sure he will be able to work with that. If you are affiliate here, are you uh, are you investing into the Rev War to kind of that ASAP, or is it really not that big of a deal in the end for either of those? Oh, uh, sorry. Could you? Oh, that's um, fine. It, my, it, I had a huge mind wipe. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're Ophelia here, you got the two yeah. blocks here on the camps. Hey, are you investing into a Rev Ward ASAP to get those countered, or are you just gonna deal with it for now? Uh, I don't think you need to deal with that just yet. It's um, I'm pretty sure no, it is a real ward, so it'd be nice, but it's kind of hit or miss with that. And I just I just don't think it's worth it in this case. I, you've got three camps that should be enough. And just like it's weird, Breaky. I've listened to your voice for like so long now. Like I'm so I've had I've had Honcast in the background. <laughs> it's just for, think I'm like on. for countless days, and then sometimes <laughs> like I, I I don't know everybody's got to do this in who's watching, but like you just kind of have like that breaky background, you yeah. know, and you just tab over to Reddit and you just kind of <laughs> I don't know. It's like listening to the radio. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty. Funny. Um, I don't really know what to comment on this game. I hate pauses, but yeah. mid Pebbles NG gonna be up against a solo MOA. That's really not a good lane for Master. It's going to be tough for him. He's going to need a little bit of Ophelia support, but the the game, this game specifically, like most, is really just going to come down it's to rune control because runes are going to generate kills almost guaranteed. you got a Plague Rider top. He's easily diveable. And as you can see, they have that ward there that blocks the camp, but I really would have liked them to hatch at that tree so it had vision of the river because you've got a Plague up here, Q first, so no lane control with zero vision. So, I mean, Ophelia can dive, no problem. Tord actually does go mid as well. So, Dampier with two pooled regens, he should dominate a Plague Rider with no mana. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see that. Yeah, that's true. So, no no, no hatch to cut down the tree, so there's no vision. It is just blocking the camp there. Uh, so, we'll see if that roam is taken advantage of here, if Ophelia perhaps goes from the... With the uh, with the river routes and uh, and already you see the effect of losing the courier. Luna has to go back to base and spend 400 gold to upgrade the courier, and oh, now geez. still isn't even in lane. Uh, the key to this game is really just going to be this mid lane. Two range here, I think, has a big advantage over the nerfed NG Pebbles, but yeah. rune control changes everything. One haste equals a kill could change everything. But yeah. I like TMSR's lane setup, and I like their draft a little bit more in this game. Yeah. And, you know, something else, again, looking through the balance changes, another hero that actually did receive actually a little bit of nerfs was Predator. Uh, his starting uh, starting stats as far as the strength gain were decreased slightly, and then also increased the amount of attacks on his ultimate from 3 to 4 to activate that terror. So as far as both for farming and for getting kills, I mean, it's definitely going to be a little bit slower in terms of uh, providing that ultimate, which is definitely a big impact. So um, I, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, you still see Predator as a go-to carry in the end. He's still fine with it here. Uh... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. 
No. Still, still too young to to really feel it out. Yeah, I, I the game it's tough. I like I wouldn't know who really has a late game here. It's tough to say because like Dampier, like just farms like a crack addict and Predator. He needs to get like they also nerfed him as well. I don't know if we discussed that, but Predator got a pretty large nerf in my opinion yeah. as well. And I, I personally just think Dampier is way too strong. That's one of the main reasons I think Team Star has got the better draft here. Yeah. They're going to win the lanes. They have the jungler, which means they'll have a better push. They've got MOA for, you know, easy anti-push. Like, they've got a really complete team, and Exit's kind of relying on a snowball. See, bottom lane, Rally actually a bit of pressure right there, but of course with the compel, definitely makes him a valuable suicide hero as he uses it to get away right there before any death happens. But uh, speaking of Dampier's farm, let's take a closer look at it. Currently, he's 11-2. Plague Order's managed 8-2 and two start, and you do see the current lane positioning is actually in his favor. So again, he went that level 1 contagion, but eventually got the extinguisher level 2, of course. And it seems like he's actually doing a pretty decent job here of boxing out the Dampier. So I, I know I know that you, you, you were referring to that. The best way to match up against a Plague God in this case is, is definitely that 1v1. But all right, do you think actually Plague God is doing a pretty good job here, or is it just that's just the hero? Um, I mean, eight and three is not bad, but he he also got I think bloodlust. For now, he just got a kill, but he, he's gonna do well. But I think Dampier could do a little bit better. You gotta just be more aggressive. Although, just to note, he's already gone through six uh, tangos oh, or wow, six yeah. trees. So play. I mean, I think Bassett's probably playing this really well. His CS is a little deceiving. He's so close after doing that much damage. It's a pretty good job. Yeah. Uh, Dampier picking up the wand a little late, so he's not got any charges on that. Bottom lane though. Predator 19-4, Rally 4 and 1. So Rally having a yeah. much harder time, but of course that is technically a 2v1. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah, that can make a little more sense there. And that, that is true as far as the kill. Well, it wasn't the Bloodlust kill, but it was actually a kill. So he is uh, 101 to start. So yeah, good point to bring up there. As far as uh, his beginning game, and Dampier obviously one of those victims in the beginning. So keeping that all in mind, you see so far, it's uh, definitely the laning phase. A little bit slower of a start to obviously have that action to begin, but uh, since then, it's been a little bit slower here. As far as you mentioned, the middle matchup is always Pebbles 11 and 5, Master of Arms currently 12 and 3. Uh, Slick's going to throw the stun actually. Chain reaction to follow. Vagabond new coming in actually. The nuke from Ophelia as well. And Pee Wee will fall right there on Pebbles. So Ophelia being active. How about not often you see you coming in with a gank with a Vagabond leader? But sure enough, helps uh, helps get the kill in the middle lane. So it's just uh, it's quite easy to gank a Pebbles with only 0.8 base armor, and yeah. you really don't need that much when you've got goo. I mean, MOA pretty much makes him take, you actually take extra damage when you go into minus armor. So when he's standing in that goo stunned, he's taking bonus damage from physical attacks. Yeah. So a uh, mid lane, you actually see them setting up a dive rather than going to come in in a second. Yeah, Engineer might be in trouble. Pebbles did just port in. That might actually be for worse because now he might be the target of choice right here. Uh, is Raleigh going to find that opportunity as a question? Casey's looking for the angle. I mean, they're ready to go. They got the mana pool. You know, they don't want to overcommit, obviously, but... Uh, it's just a matter of maybe he goes on the downhill slightly, but just not feeling it here. And actually, Casey's not going to start falling back. As you do see Pebbles, they, they, they might have solved just a very, very small smidgen of him. And uh, sure enough, that gives him the evidence. And, well, they will box him out. So Casey not going to be able to set up a gank once again in the middle lane. But uh, he is going to head back towards the bottom. As there is a sword of sight here placed by Pew, so maybe that also gave them some information in the process. But, uh, yeah, the start here, obviously, now Slix is 2-0. Oh. He's farming just about 300 gold per minute right there on that Master of Arms. And it is, it, it is interesting to, to think about as, oh, wow, top lane. Holy crap. I, I saw him taking some damage, but the Plague Rider, Plague Goo, does the work right there. I'm not sure how the bounces work. Apparently, there were good bounces, though. As, uh, as Haxorin gets taken out, so Yeah, Haxorin's really just not playing this lane very well. He got he really unlucky bounces, but you just have to do better in this kind of situation. Yeah. Um, he's he's going to be in some relatively big trouble now, and I don't know if he's going to be able to recover in the lane without a lot of assistance. Yeah, that uh, that hurts right there, no doubt, for the Hellborn side. And speaking of that, actually, we didn't mention this, but he picked it up a, about a minute or so ago. Predator, Nox. Alchemist Bones were out. He went the boots into Alchemist Bones. And again, he is having absolute free farming. I mean, you just see the start that he's already had. And actually, Rally is going to run yeah. into some support. But See, the, the thing is here, Dampier, oh, mid lane. Yeah, he's going to be dead again. Yeah, Pebbles being locked down. It should be enough damage. Gets the stalagmites off, but he kills a Vulture Lord at least. Yeah. But yeah, nice pick. Uh, the thing is, the strength of Dampier is really the ability to snowball because it's very difficult to address these heroes in the short lane when it's still, you know, early in the game. Once you hit that 10, 15 minute mark, yeah. you, you can really deal with the short lane. You know, just you can rotate. Dampier's strength is that he'll have a Grimoire by the time you're actually able to go to his lane. 
it's not recovering, which is what he's going to have to do in this game because he's having such a tough time. Yeah. And Predator, yeah, he got nerfed, but with Alchemist Bones, total free farm, like, he will just eat him alive. Yeah, yeah he's, still, he's still a very threatening carry. I mean, the nerf only mainly affected his earlier game stage slash. The ultimate bug nerf has definitely hurts him for his later game, too, but... Yeah, he, he's still very, very dangerous. So now they get the middle, they get the middle kill, middle lane kill as well as a tower kill actually. So again, as difficult of a time Hacktree might be having, or not even difficult necessarily, the the unfortunate death that he has slowing him down. His team is actually doing pretty good, pretty good around him. I mean, Master of Arms is upwards of 400 GPM now, and Ophelia is over 300 GPM herself. So. Is that the saving grace for TMSR? Are you still concerned that Dampier isn't having the best start? Honestly, like, they're doing great. The Ophelia pick is really paying dividends on this mid lane, which, I mean, they get the tower. They've got three, four kills in it. It's just top lane, by the way. This could be what they need, but that was not the gank you're looking for. They really got a blue buff on the Dampier because the MOA will knock into range. He's a range hero. But this... It's tough because I'd like to say TMSR's got this, and, like, they, they do have the edge from a strategical and just, you know, point of view, but, oh, bottom. Uh, yeah. The Luna yeah. gets taken out. Predator might. One more auto attack. Oh, the Ophelia's Blessing comes out, and actually Chain Reaction is going, oh, he gets the stone head off. Yep, good timing right yeah. there. That was Not well played skill. by Nox. Moon really should have just kept running there. The Compel was up in a few seconds. Oh, no, no Compel. So I guess it really didn't matter. He was going to be dead, but yeah. they, they needed a port. Top lane, Dampier getting chased. Once again, no, he's dead. Man, uh, and that's a really big kill. He's already finished an Astrolabe, Breaky. Yeah. And that's so crucial here. Even though mid is doing so well, it, they're getting a lead on a Master of Arms. Like He's not, he's not a game-changing, playmaking hero. Uh, a Plague Rider with an Astrolabe and a Predator who's just gonna just destroy people like they're not gonna be able to kill predator because dampier is so under farmed and like i said they're free farmers and moa at the moment so that's just not gonna be what they need to really press their advantage here and their team kind of is a snowballing tower pushing dampier farming triple stack ancients at 10 minutes type yeah. lineup and they're really not going to hit their stride because of the uh, the just kind of failure in the short lane. Yeah, yeah. Play got to speaking of him. He did use his ultimate once again right there for that kill. It didn't kill him off the bat, but obviously it set up the eventual kill with the contention nuke. So uh, he, he is making the best use of that for sure. Back-to-back -back kills on that damn pier. And, yeah, it's showing on Bastis as we were talking about, both on the farm as well as the levels for a Suicide Plague Rider. He's getting along just fine and definitely a huge impact for his team. Now, top lane once again, this time joined by Ophelia. They are really pushing that bottom lane in the meantime. Predator dropping, actually. Predator's going to fall right there. Big kill coming out for too much sugar. And now this is going to be a free tower kill. Yeah, it will be a free tower kill. As Tank of Fed attempted to deny it, but uh, or not Tank of Fed, but Bastis don't deny it, but Tank of Fed got the kill. And actually back to the bottom lane. Aluna now might be in some more trouble. They're going to look to dive. Rally has a compel. Mass TP is coming in though. Will they commit? No, they're going to go away. They say it's not worth it. And Rally compels away, so that's probably the better decision in the end. But TMSR all of a sudden, quite a bit of momentum here. Yeah. They're still going. Yeah, and th that's really poor map movement there. They're going to lose the top tower now for almost nothing, and their ancients as well if TMSR continues to push. And uh, you really cannot afford to do that. Even if Aluna dies there, like it's a level 3 Aluna. Who cares? Yeah. You can't let your second tier tower go down before the 10 minute mark, because that just. It really allows Dampier to get back into the game, and it just, it, it totally removes some of the space for your Predator, because Ancients are way less secure now, especially with that ward, as you can see Moon has in the mid-river. So, like, they've pretty much, I wish I could draw on the map, but <laughs> they've got to, like, they've in essence just cut a third of Legion's side of the map just off. Oh, yeah. And there's nothing they can really do to regain it at this point until they pick up a gem, and that's going to be much, much later in the future. So Pred is doing fantastic, f nearly 400 GPM, but Dampier, three deaths at 300, and that hero can catch up. I mean, once he, he he's not good at catching up if he's pressured, but they really haven't been able to pressure him yet. So if he's allowed to just continue you know, AFK in the jungle, he will eventually hit his stride. Yeah, well, certainly, and you see right here, he has no 1,300 gold saved up, so... He's still sitting on the mana He's not going the Blood Chalice here at this right, so he might just be going straight into the Light Brand here, if anything, because of the start. But, you know, speaking of heroes that can snowball, Peewee here on Pebbles, of course. His start's kind of been on and off. He is 0-3-1, so that definitely hurts. He's farming 245 gold per minute here. So that portal key, unfortunately, isn't going to be any time in the very near future. And so he'll need uh, he'll need some more for that. Predator, speaking of jungle, he's found himself in the jungle, actually. He's uh, cleaning up a Minotaur stack right here. And uh, taking advantage of the Alchemist Bones, of course, which are actually going to be up in 19 seconds here. So I'm sure you'll be able to use that. But, uh, yeah, Dampier, it looks like, again, at this rate, going to be going into that light brand now. And it just, especially with that, just really, really starts to take off. Good, good job with the Ancients as well as Master of Arms is over there. 
cleaning it up. And again, Slix's farm has continued to be pretty impressive. 380, 390 gold per minute now. And I assume, it, 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 I was going to bring this up earlier about Slix. You know, back when you guys with the, with the state green team and when you guys were running that master, you played it more, much more in that carry mindset where nowadays master farms, when it's played like it's either played main support, of course, or it's played in this role like Slix likes to do, is more, more that utility style. He gets the farm, but he goes for like tablet and whatnot. Meanwhile, bottom lane, though, what a turnaround right there. Actually caught that on camera. They leaped into Rally, but that completely backfired. And they take out Predator. Rally now might be in some trouble, though. Deep the master's call going to be used. They're going to take it new. Going to get the job done in the end as they take him. Oh, that's a big play. Good the bounce back. It goes to them in as they absorb a lot of damage right there. It might be the difference maker. Play going to now be locked out. Torture cutting Pebbles. Pebbles finds him though. Down goes Torture, but Pebbles will fall shortly after. Engineer finally runs in with the energy field, but he is now on the run. Dampier picks off Haluna, and Fine just has to get away. This could very likely be a genocide. In fact, there you go. Genocide for Team Excellent. It's no just not the greatest play there by you. Nox. Just, you, can't, you can't be that greedy when you're playing the the alchemist bones route he just he just went in and died and yeah. as soon as the predator died that should have been the end of the fight but uh, like most games i mean we've done that too a lot in stay green you know one hero dies but you don't want to just give him a free kill and run away but often it's better to just cut your losses and and move on but instead they in essence give away a genocide and a tower dampier's going to take all the stacks and he's already got his light brand now so yeah. definitely looking a lot better for tmsr and predator like he's he's really just not going to be able to get to the point where he can 1v5 like they really need him to do an exit yeah yeah, TMSR, the, the team around Dampier most certainly has had a great time here. And they, they bought that room. They bought the time for Haxor to, to at least recover. And, and yeah, that, that's no doubt showing. You talked about he's cleaning up the, or not the Ancients, but the stacks hole in the jungle right here. He's going to finish off these set of Wild Hunters, and uh, they'll be on their way. But yeah, Dampier well on his way to that Grimoire now on top of the life ran. And actually, they want blood. Dampier wants some more blood. Ophelia with him. Are they going to try to find the jump either on Predator, especially Aluna? Oh, Aluna. Aluna's dead. <laughs> she just happened to creep up there. Hey, what's over here? I'm going to place the water Never mind. I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. As you can see, Moon putting down another ward. I mean, that. I think that should be seen. I mean, hopefully they counter that once they see the trees are cut down. It's nice to give the extra vision, but, I mean, it's... It, I don't know. It's sort of like if, if you ever play chess and somebody moves a piece, yeah. you kind of think to yourself... Why did he move that there? You know, and if you do a little critical thinking, they should, you know, find that there's a ward there. And that's a really big ward to take out. Moon just grabbed their ward in the bottom river. It was about to fade, but if they allow that ward to stay up, and as you can see, of course, they don't have those top two towers. Like, they have no map control at this point. And Predator is a really awful hero without map control. Same with Pebbles. And Pebbles will get a blink eventually, but do they really need to make something happen here, or they're just going to eventually lose towers, lose Congor, and lose the game? Yeah. Oh, we do see Torture. He's going to find himself in a death trap. Speaking of walking into the blind right there, Moon Meander does kind of just that. He's somehow still He's going to be TP back. Oh, my God, he is. Oh, he gets away. Oh, and they all escape. That is just brutal. Team Excellent thought they had an easy kill, which they should have. But the keg stun kind of made it awkward right there. And they were not able to. That was all 5 collapsing onto a support Torturer. And they couldn't even pick up the kill. That that's what that's a, your 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 mindset after that has to be pretty uh pretty shocked after that so, um, you do see predator he's got the other parasite now so at least he finishes that so a lot of attacks be going to be coming out and uh, hitting ho extra hard as a result of that so that is good. He uh, really he just doesn't peak until he hits that really crucial insanitarious EP timing and yeah. he's not going to have that for a very long time. Like, yeah, he'll attack fast, but he's hitting for, like, 90 damage. Like, who who cares? The Dampier's doing a, a, a 15,000 burst, burst damage in, like, two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom lane, though. Yeah, he's trying to get away right here. Yeah, Elder Parasite's being delivered. That could be a difference maker if he gets it in time. Master Arms chasing, yeah. So he gets it delivered and actually playing on a running end. You see Ophelia right here. It's like, oh, crap. He's trying to run away. He actually runs himself in front of the minions. I don't know if that was just Miss Micro right there. That Plague does so much damage. The minions are cleaned up and Ophelia will fall. And it, yeah, actually, I'm curious to get your insight on that because when we see, saw more Plague Rider, we talked about this out with Ophelia. With their minions, it's kind of a good and bad against the Plague Rider. In one case, it's good because they can absorb a lot of the damage, but at the same time, it, it pretty much guarantees that there's going to be extra balances if they're around. So, do you see that as bad or good having an Ophelia against the Plague Rider? Uh, it depends on how you look at it, in all honesty. Um, it's, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good analogy for it, but it's... 
they kind of work with and against each other. It's sort of like yeah. um, a wild soul and a nomad, where a nomad will like crush the wild soul in the lane, but then late game just get rooted all the time. Like I don't really know. I personally see Ophelia as more of a counter to plague than vice versa. But like you said, I mean, if you only have like one or two creeps and they're a little low, like yeah. you can get some pretty devastating bounces. Yeah. So. Again, kind of like right there. Also, you just got all th all three of the creeps and also a feeling on top of that. So, that was just pretty much a worst case scenario for her right there. Uh, she got caught out. I kind of hit when players do this. He buys the the Grimoire patent for her. So, in the side inventory looks like he has a Grimoire and a Life Brand. But no, that's just the pattern. Which uh, he has a Blessed Orb now, or at least enough gold for it. So that Grimoire is going to be finished, and he is almost twelve on top of that now. Part of their continuing to farm. As you said, he still needs a little bit of time before he plateaus and gets that max point, but he is getting there. Pebbles, portal key, that's been purchased, right? Yeah, that's being delivered right here. So at least he has that now on a pebble. So that that's definitely a time for a difference making item here. Coming out from Pee Wee. We'll see if uh, we'll see if they manage to do it. it Legion team. Okay, your team actually you talked about the map control. Obviously TMSR continue they're they're being the more the aggressors for the most part. Do, if you're excellent, do you look to play that aggressive mindset now, or are you still fine just farming on Predator here and sitting back? Mm, I, you kind of have to sit back to be honest, but it's like you're letting a Dampier farm. I mean, you, you're kind of between a rock and a and a really really hard place because Dampier is going to beat you late game. They have Congor advantage on you, but at the same time, I mean, Nox doesn't even have enough gold to buy vestments. Like they just can't. They can't do it yet. He's got Alchemist, Vones, and EP. Neither one of those items provides really any damage. It's it's just mostly a farm assist and maybe to kill heroes if you're really far ahead. But like at this point, Rally's got a portal key, and he's only two levels behind Pred. Like, they're just in a really tough spot. They're going to need a big team fight, but I don't really know what they're going to get that from. It's got to be a huge Pebbles initiation with like Plague on top because they really don't have any other damage. Yeah. Well, for now, I'm not sure what that was about. Uh, apparently, uh... I don't know if he almost had a kill on him or not. But anyways, they're just having fun with one another. Uh, double stack ancients over here. They're going to triple stack the mirror on the Hellborn side and clean those up once again. Master of Arms can very likely head over there. He currently has a double damage. And this is what I was talking about though with the Master of Arms build. He has the tablet. He has the Energizer. He's going to sit on about 2200 gold here. It seems like next he likes to usually go for more of that shrunken head route. We'll see. If that's, uh, if that's the same here or not, but oh, the jungle. Pebbles is invis currently. You see Master Ross, he finds Engineer actually, but Pebbles jumps in. He goes through the energy field into Master Ross right there, chucks him in. Oh, feel this touch is going to be used on Master Ross, still has that Master's Call. He's going to use it defensively. No, he's thinking about it. There we go. The defensive Master's Call comes out, locked down on the Pebbles. Great job with the Micro of the Minions. And down falls Pee Wee right there, so that definitely backfired. He saved his Engineer teammate, but it cost him his own life right there on Pebbles. Not what you needed. <laughs> And that was his first time using this portal key, I think, as well. So, not having the best of game, unfortunately, on the Pebbles. Not the biggest impact. I will say, though, Insanitarius just finished on Predator. So, he is having those bigger items now. We'll see uh, how that keeps uh, continuing to progress. But at the same time, you got Dampier 1500 gold saved up. And actually, Congor is going to be attempted here. Let's see how Philly is yeah. Rally. The X Factor is really just the Dampier. I mean, he's really not even participating in the game yet. And. He's about to hit 500 GPM. They'll give him a token soon. Yeah. And, like, they just don't really have a way to force fights on Legion. The Ophelia is a really big deal in these fights because, in essence, you're trading an Aluna for an Ophelia as, you know, short lane support for a jungler. But it, Aluna's had next to no impact in this game, and Ophelia is just doing phenomenal. Like, 300 GPM, 4 1 4. Tegavit's been doing a fantastic job with the roaming, and he's really the reason mid won. And that's the only reason Hacks are still in this game. I yeah. mean,. He, he was at 220 GPM, and, and now mid's dead as well. Yeah, Engineer, Seismic Slam, it does go off. Not going to be enough for the kill just yet, but it eventually will fall. You see the Plague Goop bouncing around, but that's a case right there. Oh, the Chucky, but no, Rally will survive. He didn't stay in for the auto attack. He wanted to run ASAP, and actually they're going to look to turn this Pee-Wee now in some trouble. You saw Rally get ported back right there, so he jumped in, and that will be a finish on a Pebbles. Great teamwork coming out. And they end up taking out PB right there. So, again, he is 2-6-1. and one. This is not his game at all as far as the start is concerned. Good turnaround, though, from Too Much Sugar. Definitely well played on their part. And uh, now you're looking at a little bit even further behind. I mean, Predator are getting a little bit more free farm while it happened. Uh, you talked about the GPMs. Though. I mean, you look at Dampier at 467. I mean, Predator is doing a good job of keeping up there. But here comes it, the token now. It just doesn't matter. It's Dampier. 
<laughs> Sorry, Kiro got there. nerfed, and it's still just, he's just so ridiculous. Yeah. It, it's its because you have to kill him, like he's the hard carry, but if you don't kill him 100 to 0, he's back at 100, you gotta try it all over again. It's just, it's a really difficult hero to deal with, and it's, in a game like this, where you have map control, and the, like, well, how do you really lose a game with it? I mean, they've got the yeah. port. They've got more portal keys now. They've got better push. They've got better anti push. They've got the the astrolabe is back. I think yeah, the Ophelia's got it. So the the early astrolabe on plague really didn't have that much of an impact. But that kind of goes back to them just not selecting a jungler while TMSR did. So yeah. that early game mid game potential is always going to be stronger. And if you play it properly, you get towers and you snowball to this point. And now they can kind of just chill. They're 10k 10k ahead. Wait for Dampier to get his shrunken. And then you pretty much just go for the win. Yeah, I will say also on top of this too, Plague Rider, it's kind of interesting. Again, he made a lot of sense. He had a great laning phase, in fact, in the early part. It's interesting, though, because usually what we like to talk about Plague Rider too is that what he brings with the armor buff, the uh, the Plague Shield, Curse of Shield or whatever, uh, up to eight armor once that's maxed out. And, that, in mo and it's still great here, don't get me wrong, but it's not as great as it would be against your, more of your right-click hard carry. You know, Dan Fierce, sure, he brings that presence eventually later game, but he is a lot about that burst magic even in the later game. So that Cursed Shield maybe not as impactful as, as it would be in most games, unfortunately. Uh, so something to keep in mind as well. We need to look at it from that perspective, but Dampier, Portal Key, 1400 Gold. They're going to clean up their, the Legion Ancients right here. You see uh, you see Team Excellent not sure exactly where they want to go. They, they do have Pebbles. He's farming the top lane again. He's just trying to get anything going. Uh, Soul's Bulwarks not picked up by either side just yet, by the way. Kind of important. No, but here we go in the middle lane. Play going to be in He has a play. Goo can't get it off, though. He just gets melted. He is not buying back. Engineer in the background also falling. We do see a jump right here from Pebbles. So Predator in the front lines. They want to get a kill. Ophelia like Touchstone comes out looking for the turnaround. Now that's what it does. Pebbles going to fall. Predator gets jumped. Team will go down. And Team Excellent. I would not be surprised if they're on the verge of uh, being like, well, we had our chances. Now the Predator will buy back, though. So I ain't over just yet by any means, but... Oh, we are going to... Oh, I thought that was about to pause, but this is going to be tower kill. And TMSR is going to fall back, so... Wow, Ophelia's touch, man. That's That has huge turnaround potential. That on the Astrolabe, as we saw. So, good initiation on their part. And a big yeah. one fight. That, uh, I mean, that was about as good as you could hope for. Pebbles had a yeah. triple combo stun. Uh, Plague Ultimate, unfortunately, wasn't used as he went down too early, but I mean, that's pretty much the, the game winner. Um, I, it was kind of over for a little while now, but, you know, miracles could happen, and rule number one is never underestimate the opponent's ability to throw, but this one, unfortunately, is just a little out of reach. Yeah, it's obviously uh, getting uh, pretty scary here for Team Excellence, and I uh, yeah, don't know if there's much hope of them holding in, but uh, hopefully Moomy Ender will be able to reconnect here shortly. And then we'll get them back. There you go. Looks like he's already reconnecting. So, again, guys, this is game number one here in this best out of three. As usual with On Tour, uh, it was the second week. We got Cycle 5. This is a loser back in round four. The winner of this plays, of course, happens to be Stay Green in the next round. Um, the winner back at finals, by the way, and, and once again, and that happened yesterday. It just so happened, I guess it just got rescheduled to yesterday. Uh, Lion Esports Club, they did win that, and they won that two games to one over Internet Gangsters. And so IG, of course, going to be waiting in the loser's bracket finals to see what happens there. So, okay, looks like he has reconnected. And we should be good to go here. It's about damn time. Exactly. Mr. Samuel L. Jackson coming through. All right, so an easy tower kill. And, yeah, you look at those leads here. Holy crap. 17,000 golden experience lead in, uh, in too much sugar's favor. So Dampier, 2,900 gold here. Sheep Six gonna be coming out for Slicks. He's got the Blessed Orb. I mean, what what more else is there to say? Just a lot of next tier items basically coming out on the Hellborn side. Not so much for the Legion side. That mighty played by the way on Predator. Uh, do you think that is gonna be maybe a Shrunken Head or is it probably gonna be the Dice Brand? Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter, but. Since he's not going vestments, we can pretty safely assume it's never going to be a shrunken head. <laughs> um, and I guess I guess it's going to be a frostburn into dawnbringer, but that's just not really like that item just doesn't do anything in this game. You're really looking for him to go more of like a minus armor type strat because like I feel like a vestment and then a demonic would just be way better served. But it really, like I said, it's so late in the game and they're so far behind. It just really doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what Nox goes for, but uh, it's going to be a lot more than his item selection that be is a difference maker here. 
in this game. And it could start with this. They're trying to get a jump, but good job by Ophelia. Actually, Talbot over the minions right there. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. Could not get close enough. At least try to maybe pick up the minions. Yeah, but they don't want to spend too much time at the same time. So uh, Ophelia is ultimately going to get away, and uh, he will be fine. And In fact, wow, this is just hitting me, Swindle, but all towers are still up on TMSR side. Holy crap. They have not gotten a tower kill yet for excellence. Uh, 25 and a half minutes in, so... That's uh, yeah, so that's kind of good and bad. I mean, in one case, it's obviously horrible that they haven't been able to get a tower kill yet, but at the same time, that means there's extra resources still there on the map for them to be able to take out. So kind of a uh, looking at Always it. look on the bright <laughs> exactly, side exactly. of life. No, I don't know about that one, Reggie. <laughs> it's something, okay? Yeah, but yeah. It's, no, it's still a pretty dark spot to be in. Yeah, I don't know. This is I, I actually don't know why TMSR isn't like just going for the win. It's so hard to throw with a token on Dampier when he's got a Shrunken. Like, yeah. I know you don't want to underestimate their ability to do so, but like, he can kill any hero on the Legion side that doesn't have vestments, other than Pred, I guess. But, I mean, he'll get pretty damn close to dead. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just, I I don't see any real way for them to win this game. It. Yeah. Barring a disconnect, but I'm glad they're starting to push. They just finished a sheep stick on to MOA. Interesting choice. Rally's gonna teep like what? The why defend? Just take yeah. a Rex. Oh, okay. They're gonna get red dotted a little bit, but uh, they'll probably get a kill on Angie for it. So I guess it's worth it. Yeah, well then, oh, no. Engineer says, "All right, I'm gonna fall back. You have committed a couple to defending it. I guess we've already accomplished what we wanted to. So, yeah, the." Uh I, I, it is it does seem a little silly to to want to force a defense there, but in the end they actually are going to defend the bottom lane right here. Dampier jumps in though. Sheeps have got a predator right away, and look at predator—he just drops. He could not get a stone hide off. Down goes Aluna. Double tap already for Slicks. Blagwater is going to complete the hat trick. <laughs> I'm talking over Samuel Jackson. I feel like I shouldn't be. Oh man, that was just uh, an onslaught right there on the Hellborn side, and yeah, it's, if it wasn't over already, he can put the nail in the coffin now. There's the vote to concede. Will it pass is the question. Is Team Excellent 100% done? Apparently not. Predator says, screw it. I want a chance. Ah, that's not going to happen. Well, damn. <laughs> wins. Well, this pack, man. This pack. Yeah. It's hilarious. Is it, did you act, did he actually like come into the, to the office and record? Or? He, he didn't come in here to, to the local office, no. I, he did record, I believe, in, in the Los Angeles area, and he has actually him and everything. So, oh, yeah, cool. that was a cool experience. I know a couple of our employees got a chance to talk with him, meet him, and everything. So, fun stuff, fun stuff. Yeah, um, it's an interesting game. I'm thinking yeah, about that. Uh, hmm. I, I don't really know. I, I felt like Xset just kind of wasn't. They weren't prepared, really. Like, Bassett's had a great game, but, like, they just kind of allowed him to get dove, and the towers just went down with a bad defense bottom. I really think that choice to TP bottom for Nott was really the thing that turned the game as they sacrificed their uh, their second-tier tower for that, really got Dampier back into it. But two fairly evenly matched teams, so I'm excited to see what happens in game two. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If anything, yeah, that's uh, the laning phase is clearly for Team X and outside of the Dampier just for... I don't know, it was, yeah, it was, it was actually an interesting laning phase, wasn't it? Excellent, actually had a good start. Anyways, who knows, who knows? We got game number two going to be coming up. That's what I know. That's what I know. TMSR versus Team Excellent. Loses bracket round four. TMSR up one game to nothing. They're going to try to seal it here and move on to face State Green, but Team Excellent obviously wants something to say about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit tight. We'll be back and take a short break right here as always. But we got game number two coming up around the corner. Sit, sit, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Can I be your memory? 